about every character that they play. They're gonna, no matter how big or small, they're gonna try to find something that they identify with about that character and try to channel, you know, some of their own personal experiences uh, along with that. Like for instance, I mean, not to be all heavy or anything, but even with Ed Elric, one of the big things about Ed was that he had a dad who was kind of a jerk, right? His dad took off when they were young, and they were, he really never had much contact with him, and there was a lot of bitterness and a lot of, you know, anger because his dad left. And my dad was kind of the same way. So I remember that, and when I got to that part of the story, I was, you know, I was really able to identify that. So I think most actors will tell you that they'll try to find something about every, about every character they play, you know, that's, that reminds them in some way of themselves. I'm going to hit for a gentleman right here. Yes. I was wondering, in all of your career, what's the most bizarre line you've ever had to say? <laughs> there have been so many. <laughs> there, you know what? One thing anime has no shortage of, it's bizarre lines. Uh, I remember a show that I did once called Legend of the Mystical Ninja. <laughs> and this line was so bizarre that I actually had to grow it around a ball cap. And I used to wear the ball cap when I would go and record Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Um, Goemon, the character that I played, uh, had an uncle who was one of those crazy, wild uncles that would invent things all the time. And he would invent things using household objects. <laughs> so one episode that I did, uh, the uncle had made a weapon and Goemon had it in his hand and he was getting ready to fight the bad guy. And the line he said was, Feel the wrath of my hand mixer. <laughs> and I thought, now there's a good line. That would make a great ball cap. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, it would do very good.
and I look over the corner, and here's four or five girls going, <laughs> So, what can I do, right? The pressure was enormous. So, I took a deep breath and closed my eyes and went, <sighs> And she did it. And I ran directly to the bathroom and washed my hands 14 times. Wait, she has a Star Trek question, which means the world stops. Um, if you could go into the Star Trek universe and into any episode, which episode would you go into? I mean, if I could like, go into there, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> mm, that's a tough one, because there are just so many. I, uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Okay. Whoever the actor was that actually did play the role, I would never want them to think that I was like 
was like, you know? I would never want them to think that I was kind of implying that I could do a better job or that they didn't do a good job. So I, I, I'm not going to say any shows that I wish I could have done that I didn't get to be in. I will say this. I am enormously grateful, enormously grateful for every role I've got to play. No matter how big or small, I have loved it. I am, I am so thankful to God for what I get to do. And Just for this one. 